Hello there, my precious little eggies. I have a quick video for you today. You know that relatable moment when you're on Adobe Premiere version 15.2 and you can't click anything? It's really great. It's a fun bug that's been introduced into this. For the record, this is a client project. I don't really want to show off what it is, so I'm going to cover things up with Doom footage. Here's the issue. You edit in Premiere, you're minding your own business, and suddenly the UI breaks. Those clicks are of course from the riveting Adobe Premiere gameplay, not from Doom. You can't change the edit workspaces, you can't click clips, you can't seem to click anything. Certain parts of Premiere work, but by and large you can't click anything. You can't even see the little transparent version of your clip when you're trying to slide it around on the timeline. It's, it's really bad. If your UI freezes like this, turn off your waveforms and you're good. I don't know why, but for some reason it resolves the problem. If you don't know how to do this, click onto your timeline window, hit the wrench icon and uncheck show audio waveform. If Premiere is really misbehaving and you can't even click the wrench icon I found that if you go into the bin and click something and then come back it kind of resets the timeline a little bit. Not enough to clear the other issues unfortunately though. This is unfortunately just a band-aid. This is something Adobe is going to need to fix because you, you can't edit like this. I don't know about you but I need to click things and I also need waveforms and I can't just go with one or the other. I kind of need both. But the good news is it seems if you turn the waveforms off and then turn them back on it resolves the issue too. If it happens again just switch the waveforms off, turn them right back on and it seems to work. Keep in mind, I was really desperate. I, I did everything. I wiped the preferences, I deleted the media cache, I uninstalled the program, I reinstalled it, I tried a previous version. I googled this and I saw virtually no posts about it. I saw one Reddit thread where the issue was unresolved and one Adobe thread that kind of got me thinking, which led to my solution. The reason I thought to try this was someone in the Adobe forum mentioned the fact that when you nest your audio, it actually bugs out the UI. This was the case in a previous project of mine where the nested audio was the problem, but in this current project, Project, which is of course for a client and not for me you know that that would be where it was happening where it's on a, a timeline and I need to get something done quickly there are precisely zero instances of nested audio in this project in fact I didn't use any nests at all and I also happened to notice that some of my waveforms were randomly not showing up on the timeline so I turned waveforms off and everything came right back hopefully it'll do the trick for you as well. I tend to avoid Adobe Premiere updates because it seems like the last two years Adobe has been trying to unmake the program. I would add a Doom Eternal Unmaker meme here, but uh, I don't really use the Unmaker. Every now and then I feel the need to make a video like this, just like that Sony memory card thing on the Mac OS. It's a simple thing, uh, but it's easy to overlook. Let me know in the comments below if you have a different workaround for this because this is pretty annoying and I hope that this gets addressed quickly in the next update. Let me know in the comments below if this doesn't work for you either. I am not the Adobe Whisperer. I just happened to stumble upon this and thought it was important to share with other Adobe users. I want to wrap this video up by reading a text message I sent to a friend of mine um, right before this happened. There was no relation. It was just funny timing and I thought I'd share. He texted me the following. What video editing software do you use or suggest a friend is starting a channel on YouTube? To which I replied, I use Adobe Premiere for everything, but it's expensive and feels like an abusive relationship. I've been with Adobe for so long that when he comes home drunk and hits me, I let it go because I know deep down he loves me. That got really dark. I apologize. Alright, that's all I got for you. I'm going to leave you with my Doom Eternal footage now set to Animal Crossing music because those are my two favorite games. Godspeed. Sorry you use Adobe. Alright, bye. Like and subscribe. Sweet Doom Photography. Don't